welcome to my channel learn with in this part of video we will going to discuss about the regulation of the respiration so the regulation of the respiration is a wide topic and this topic needs to be minimize and summarize in a precise diagrammatic view and in the easy notes that i will provide you guys to better explain so in this video we will going to discuss about the chemical and the neuronal regulation of the respiration and also we will going to compare the different types of the respiratory regulatory mechanisms so if you have not subscribed to our channel go and subscribe and press the bell icon to get better updated starting from the regulation of respiration that is to maintain the normal volume of the alveolar ventilation inside the lungs and to maintain the normal volume the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and the oxygen should remain unaltered so the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide and oxygen should remain unaltered is a basic is you can say the basic target of this respiratory regulation to maintain the alveolar ventilation we have to maintain the normal amount of the carbon dioxide and oxygen in the blood and how this happened through two mechanisms number 1 is the neuronal mechanism the number 2 is the chemical regulation the neuronal mechanism uses the respiratory centers that are located in the medulla including the ventral respiratory group the dorsal respiratory group and the pneumotactic centers so these three centers or you can say the part of the neurons are important and they are going to stimulate when there is increase or decrease in the alveolar ventilation we are going to discuss is further on starting from the neuron regulation now guys here you can see i have prepared a chart and in this part we will going to discuss about the neuron regulation of the respiration the neuron regulation of respiration if we discuss that they are controlled through the dorsal respiratory group of neurons the ventral respiratory group of neurons and the pneumotaxic centers the dorsal respiratory group of neurons are located dorsal side of the medulla in the brain stem and it controls the inspiration the rate of the inspiration is controlled from the dorsal group of neurons the inspiration is controlled through the inspiratory muscles including the diaphragm that is a major one and other intercostal muscles so it controls the respiration by causing the contraction of the inspiratory muscles so the dorsal respiratory group will control the inspiration also it is going to control the basic respiratory rhythm that you can say the basic respiration that is performed during the resting state or also called as the quiet respiration so normal quiet respiration or the rhythm of the respiration is maintained from the dorsal group of neurons it is located in the nucleus tractus solitarius and that nucleus tractus solitarius is connected with certain vagus nerves and the glossopharyngeal nerve with the other uh, nemotactic areas of the body and sends the signal towards the medulla towards the dorsal respiratory group of neurons and causing the contraction of the inspiratory muscle that ultimately increase the rate of inspiration the one more important thing about the dorsal respiratory group of neuron that this inspir uh, dorsal respiratory group controls the emitting burst of the inspiratory action potential it causes the increased amount of the inspiratory action potential and that ultimately causes the increase in the length of the inspiration so you can say the inspiration that is the gaining of the air inside the respiratory tract is going to increase and the length of the respiration you can say the length of duration of the inspiration increases because of the dorsal respiratory group of neuron that is located in the nucleus tractus solitarius and the second function we have discussed is the control of the basic quiet rhythm of the respiration now coming to the second group of neurons that are present are the ventral respiratory group of neurons they are located ventral to the medulla in the nucleus ambiguus the nucleus name of the nucleus are very important you have to remember these names the nucleus ambiguus is for the ventral respiratory group of neuron in the medulla the ventral respiratory group of neuron does not control the basic respiratory rhythm but it controls the excessive expiratory signals in the heavy respiration and this expiratory signals causing the heavy respiration that occur in the forceful conditions like exercise the forceful respiration required in heavy exercise is controlled by the ventral respiratory group of neuron by increasing the expiratory rhythm 
so you can see the ventral respiratory group of neurons are responsible for controlling the rate of expiration through controlling the muscles of the expiration so when there is excessive expiratory sickness in uh, it causes the burst of excessive expiration and this condition occurred in the heavy respiration or heavy exercise so this group of neuron does not control the quit respiration the third neuronal mechanism that controls the regulation of respiration is the pneumotaxic centers the pneumotaxic centers are different from the respiratory centers that are the dorsal and the ventral group the pneumotaxic centers are located in the nucleus parabrachialis in the pons they are not located in the medulla they are located in the pons and the function their function is to limit the inspiration they will causing the decrease in the inspiration but they will causing the increase in the respiratory rate how because when the inspiration is decreased or there is a limitation of inspiration there will be increase in more amount of the breathing rate so however the breathing rate is increased the respiratory rate is ultimately increased so these three group of neurons and these centers including the these two respiratory centers and the pneumotaxic center control the neural regulation of the respiration this was all about the neural mechanism and i have summarized in the precise manner i hope you will explain well thank you